world? It's your girl Brittany, and today I have somebody who's very beautiful. She can sing and she's funny. Thank you. Sky Towson, what's going Hi. on? <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Cold. Are it's cold. I'm cold. As fuck. Yeah. I'm not used to it. This shit is no. terrible. It's 80 at home. So. And it's zero here. Yes. How are you doing, baby girl? I'm good. Um, I just performed at SOBs last night. Yes, how did that go? Yeah, I ended up headlining unexpectedly. <laughs> um, and SOBs, awesome. always something crazy going on. Yeah, there. it was, but you know what? We went with it, and I, and I told myself, you know, I hadn't performed in a while, and I need to take more risks this year, and I really need to step out of my comfort zone. And so um, it was awesome. I mean, to really see people who tweet you in person is just so bizarre, you know? Like, you see these faces for years and years, and then they're front and center, and right. it's like, wow. But, you know, the support was real, so it was beautiful. That's good. So, Rocking Chairs yes. is out um, on Spotify. Yes, and iTunes and Amazon. You know what? I didn't know exactly what to expect because yeah. you have such a bubbly like personality, <laughs> but you have like a lot of ballads on your EP. Thank you. The Always song is like my favorite. Is that, to your, is that to your bae? Were you singing to him on that? Well, the whole project is kind of personally inspired. <laughs> and Very personal. Listen, if you guys are on Skies, Instagram, you know that her day is hot. Yeah, well, yeah, like he just, he just did Fashion Week. Yeah, like, he killed it. So I, that's why I came out here, and then I ended up uh, performing. So it, it worked out. It worked out. Oh. It worked out. Supporting Bay. Yeah, Bay supporting you. Gotta be supportive, you know. Bay, <laughs> Wifey, you know, so. Initially, mm -hmm. the first time I ever kind of got wind of you as like an adult was when Beyonce was pregnant. <laughs> and your pregnant videos that went viral. <laughs> And the, like they're so hilarious, and we used to play it every day oh, just to be to laugh. Yeah, be like pregnant, pregnant. <laughs> so like, when, when did you notice that you could like imitate Beyonce? You know, I always, um, I always did voices. Um, my car rides to school with my dad would be, how many voices can you get? So okay. he'd be like, all right, yesterday we did London. We did this. You were seven. Today, can we do 10? I'm like, we could do 10. He's like, and start. And I'd be like, well, hello. Da -da 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 -da. You know, it's like, those were my car rides. And so I didn't realize I was training. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, I was just, my dad was just playing with me. So I was hanging out with one of my friends, EJ, who's now <laughs> hilarious. EJ Johnson is yeah. killing me. And uh, we were hanging out on a plane headed somewhere and he was like let's play a game I'll be Oprah you be Beyonce and we'll talk to each other <laughs> and I'm like um okay EJ and anyone that knows him knows he's a big personality and so he's like okay I'm Oprah and I'm like and I'm Beyonce and then I was like he's like did you hear that I was like Beyonce 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 be awesome, you know? And from there, I made a stupid video and it went completely viral. And I was like, okay. But you know, right. for me, it's I feel like impersonations, I've always been a fan of people who really embody the character. Like Maya Rudolph on SNL was like my favorite as a kid because it's mannerisms and it's yeah. faces. It's not just like Beyonce, because then you're gonna be like, it's dry. So when I learned how to do it, yeah. you know, and this, <laughs> you know, it was like, I really was like, wow, this is, I guess a skill, but I mean, you never know what's gonna take off on the internet. And right. one video got me in the doors of, I mean, I was at, you know, Fox, and then I'm at ABC Family, and BET, and MTV, and Atlantic Records, and this, and they're like, we saw your Beyonce video, and I'm like, it's a prank? Like, you know, like, like no, I didn't know yeah. if it was a joke or not, and it's like, you literally get in those rooms, and you realize everything on the internet is permanent, and it's yes. just out there. Wait, has Beyonce ever, have you ever ran into Beyonce? Um, have you ever heard that Beyonce saw your videos? I actually, somebody last night told me that she did. Um, I've heard several times that she's seen it, but um, I met Beyonce twice, one when I was really little, and then one right before I did the video. Uh. Like, literally like <laughs> five, five months before I did the video. Um, she was really, really sweet, so I mean, my thing is, it's all in good fun. Like, I feel like she has enough of a sense of humor. No, she'll about completely it. love Cause you know, some people are like sewing themselves with her like, you know, but it's like, if it's spot on and it's funny, yeah. I hope that, you know. No, it's so knows. funny. And then, like, I always hear these, like, rumors that Jay spends a lot of time on the internet, unbeknownst yeah. to a lot of people, mm -hmm. and he watches, like, a lot of YouTube videos. So I'm pretty sure that you probably <laughs> have come across Maybe her come death, up. or at least he's watched it. Because uh, people do so many impressions <laughs> of him, too. So. Yeah, There's a, a lot of people do him. So it's funny, people reach out, like, let's collab. I was like, I don't really do those anymore. <laughs> like, I think right. I've kind of run the well dry, but uh, but it's funny. I mean, I hope she saw and she laughed. That's, that's all I can Yeah. Say. But your latest one is, is Jocelyn. Jocelyn. The, the polar the bear princess. The bear is in the way. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> she, like, what's the thing about, like, Jocelyn, it's like, she, exactly, she's like such a character. She's, she's not even, I love her. Like, I, the first time I saw her, I had to rewind it. I was like, is this real? Like, is this a real person? Is yeah. this a real, like, there's no, but then when I saw how she owned it, yeah. like, you know, it'd be talking like that, and talking like that, and her tongue, yeah. I was like, oh my God, this girl's amazing. And I was like, how have people not impersonated her yet? Right. So I was like, let me get on it. So I was like, you know what? They took Beyonce from me. They can't take the whole cast of Love and Hip Hop. So then I went from Stevie to Mimi to Jocelyn <laughs> to Nico, and I'm like, I'm on this one. Um, so what's next for you? Because I know that you've been doing some acting. Mm -hmm. Um, but what is 2015 kind of? What's in there? Um, I mean, just like I kind of said, I'm taking more risks. You know, I want to get back on the stage and really, mm -hmm. really just bring back a dope live show. Like I think, you know, we're so caught up in this kind of you know, era of, of beats being just made on the keyboard. Like, yeah. you don't hear somebody having live guitar. You know, you don't hear a drummer unless they're in a band. And it's like, I really want to bring back that live aspect. And as far as acting, <sighs> being a black girl is very difficult um, because, you know, you walk in the room and they expect you to be a one-trick pony and they want you to be sassy and be ghetto. And, you know, and I'm like, you're telling me to be, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I tend to kind of walk in the room and, and they feel some type of way because I'm not willing to play the stereotype to right. role, you know? And um, so, I mean, I think opportunities come around and, and you know, there's been different, different things that have come around that get close, but I really believe it's it's all like God's timing. Like, I, I don't really stress it. Um, but I am interested in acting. I think, I, didn't, I never considered myself an actress. Like, I was like, I'm being stupid on the internet. Like, when people are like, I'm a fan, I would laugh. Like, I'm like, you're mocking me, you know? Like, yeah. because I don't, I don't think I've done anything worth calling themselves a fan. Yet, you know, yeah. so I mean this year I really want to step out of the internet and really say okay I've booked something great and you know I dropped my music and so that's finally on sale mm -hmm. and like really make moves because because YouTube sensation just makes me cringe. Do you ever feel pressure knowing that because of your father is who he is and he had such a great career do you feel like you're always like kind of like in his shadows? Um, you know it's funny because before being in, in the industry, I got like a taste of it, you know? I understood how you treat your fans, and like I saw my dad be such a class act, you know? Yeah. Like, people would interrupt me in the middle of talking, like, excuse me, Mr. Townsend, I know you with your kids, but uh, can you rub on my wife's booty and take a picture? And I'm just like, people are so ignorant, you know? Like, <laughs> but to see how classy my dad would be like, yeah. listen, I don't want to rub on your wife's booty, but I will take the picture, you know? And it's just like, the way he always made people feel warm, Yeah, it's like, I really got kind of insight on like, okay, this is how you treat people who really are the ones paying your bills, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so, so I've always been really humbled by that and really appreciative, but it's not really pressure. Um, my dad's like my biggest fan. He's like obsessed with me. I'm just kidding. So growing up, you grew up in like in LA and Hollywood. So how was like what is that like? Because I always like think it's interesting, kind of like the different celebrity kids who hang out with each other and like kind of just like, oh that's random as hell. But then it's like, oh no, it's not. They're tech, they're like neighbors. But you just yeah. don't like their their parents run in different social circles. And oh, it it is it's very bizarre that in high school my friends had drivers. And sometimes <laughs> you know a limo would pick them up. Yeah. And they're like, oh my dad had to send the limo, guys. So let's just take the limo home. And I'm like, okay, like. It, it was normal for them, but yeah. I knew it was abstract. You know, like I never was like, this is this is real, you know? Uh, where there was paparazzi outside of my school because it was like the Olsen twins went there and then this and then Angelina Jolie's touring the school and it's like, this is so weird. Like, yeah. this is so weird. But, you know, in LA, I think, if you don't know no better, like my mom is strict, like. <sighs> She's like, dishes by nine, curfews 11. You walk in at 11.01 for two months you're grounded. Like I was on growing up like that. Okay. So for me, <laughs> there was no play dates with my boyfriends before I was 18, you know? Like <laughs> if your boyfriend's not sleeping over, I'm like, no, we're, we're 13. Um, you know, so it, it's crazy because, you know, they, they smoke with their moms. They're like, mom, where are my cigs? I'm like, my mom's like, if you ever smoke, I will stick that so far. I'm like, you know, so upbringing is so big. Yeah. You know, even my dad, he still spanked us. Like, my friends were like, that's abuse. You should call that. <laughs> I'm like, listen, I can't call that one. My mom will then really kill me. But, um, you know, it's, it's really about how you raise your kids and yeah. your upbringing. And, like, my upbringing was so normal. And even just my dad, you know, teaching us the importance of giving back and, like, understanding that everyone's a human being. You yeah. know, like, he, he never had security. Like, even in the, you know, the prime of his career, he was like, we gonna go down to Skid Row with all the homeless people. You gonna shake their hands, you gonna hug them, you gonna say hello, and you gonna give them I'm food. like, for real, I got a hug. Yeah, and my sister was like, I don't, I don't know. I'm it's not for me. I'll and shake I, their hands. You know, but it opens your eyes yeah. to really say, like, oh my God, like, we're really blessed. And so we really understood the concept at a young age that we were blessed. And I think, you know, if I didn't get that concept, I would have been on, like, Coke with, like, half of my head shaved and, like, just, I don't even know. But it's like, there's, 
it's so much parenting and so I really yeah. give my parents that credit because I have friends who were in rehab at 14 and thought it was cute that is insanity and insane. real and like the thing is you know everyone has their drug dealer when they do drugs but like when you're rich you have your own drug dealer it's like um mom did you call Jose for my pills well no I'm just gonna tell my friend to call Jorge and it's like they have their own little drug dealers in the hood <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? This is Sky Townsend, and you're watching me on Global Grind TV. Stay tuned. Eggplant Friday. It was on my page. Whole page. Yeah, people are deleting you. You're probably like, what the f I need this for Chris. And at first, we were like, nah, hell nah. This, we keeping it. This is our song. You yeah. Know?